Eastern Conference Finals tied at two games apiece. Toronto taking both games in Toronto. Head coach Teron Liu was asked what the common denominator was in the first two games versus the second two games. And he pointed out that the Cavs didn't take the one-on-one -on -one challenge. And that's where I think Kyrie Irving has to make his mark in the series going forward. It's taking that one-on-one -on -one challenge against Kyle Lowry. Irving said at the beginning of the postseason he was looking forward to the matchup, and he won the matchup in the first two games. But Lowry has gotten more comfortable. He's gotten in a rhythm, 35 points in game four. Kyrie's got to get better defensively. That's how he can help the Cavs get back in this series. It starts on the defensive end. And then there's another thing that the Cavs have to change after looking at the, the last two games against the Raptors. They got to push the pace. First two games played at the Cavs' pace. Games were in the hundreds. That's how they have to win this series against the Raptors. Second two games, the Cavs were held below 100 points. Toronto is 0-7 when giving up 100 points or more in the postseason. Kyrie's got to keep constant pressure on the defense, attack the defense, get on in transition, get easy baskets before the stingy Raptors' defense can get set. That's how Kyrie Irving can help the Cavs get a 3-2 series lead and perhaps close this thing in game six.